So this is a data sufficiency question. They're asking you to find what is the time required to download the software. So it's a value-based question, okay? There are two types of data sufficiency question. One is value-based, other one is yes or no type question. So they're asking you to find a unique value for the, what is the time required to download the software? And there are two statements. So you have the complete freedom to start with any of the statements. So let's start with statement one. So statement one says that size of the software is 12 megabytes. So this information is not sufficient to answer your request. With the size, we don't have we don't have enough information here, right? We just know the size of the software is 12 megabytes. So that is not sufficient to answer the question here. So statement one alone is not sufficient here. So at this stage, what are the options you could uh, eliminate? Option B can be eliminated because option B says that question can be answered using either statement alone. That means it can be answered using statement one alone as well as by using statement two alone. So that option you could eliminate at this stage. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to analyze statement two individually or in statement two alone. So statement two says that the transfer rate is 2.4 kilobytes per second. So you know at which the transfer rate is given. So, but that is not sufficient to calculate the download time, right? You don't know the size of the doc software. So statement two alone is also not sufficient to answer the question. So at this stage, we could eliminate option A. Because individually, each of the statement is not sufficient to answer it. So now we're going to do is we're going to combine both statements. Because we found out that individually, if statements are not sufficient, then only you need to combine it. Okay. So if you combine both statements, we know the size of the software. We know the transfer rate that is actually sufficient to calculate the time required to download the software. And always keep in mind, you don't need to calculate the time exactly because question is not asking you to calculate the time. They want you to check whether the statements are sufficient to answer it. So you don't need to waste time on calculating the exact time here. That is not necessary. Okay. So your answer is option C is the right answer because question can be answered by using both the statements together, but cannot be answered using either statements alone. Option C is the right answer. 